waste in the tank is an easier way to eat seafood. Hi Sharks, I'm Emily. And I'm Melissa. And we're two moms from Houston, Texas that are making waves in the seafood industry. We're here today asking for $200,000 in exchange for 15% of our company, Fish Fix. So let's talk seafood. It's great for your brain, your heart, and your skin. But did you know that only two in 10 Americans are meeting the dietary recommendation for seafood consumption? That means that 80% of Americans are not reeling in the benefits <laughs> of seafood. Why is that? It's because they're not confident buying it, handling it, or cooking it. And that's where Fish Fix comes in. Fish Fix delivers perfectly portioned premium seafood to doorsteps nationwide, making seafood both simple and approachable. We source the absolute best seafood from around the globe, individually portion it so it's easy to work with, and then freeze in the freshness so the quality is consistent. But we don't stop there. The after delivery experience is what really sets us apart. All of our packaging is geared towards your success in the kitchen. Like these bags, they come with thaw, prep, and simple cooking instructions. Oh, and that's not it. They're also odor absorbent. So once you're done prepping your fish, simply take the prep trash, put it back in the bag and toss. No fishy <laughs> smell left behind. Sharks, this is quite the opportunity. So which one of you is ready to take the bait and get America their fish fix? Good Can job. we eat it? Yes, yes. please do. All right. Good okay. job, guys. So, so yeah, so you'll have you'll see that's our uh, wild caught golf shrimp with a spicy cocktail sauce because I am from South Louisiana and I can't help myself with that. Oh, it's a good sauce. Thank you. Uh, next is our uh, Maryland style crab cake with Romelon. Oh, this sauce. Thank you. Uh, after that, we have our uh, blackened salmon. And then finally, we have our American Red Stamper and um, a Kevin O'Leary white wine sauce. Ooh. Oh, no. yeah. so That's like what that was one, wrong with it. Very Kevin. good sucking up. Very good. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. How did you guys start this? Like, are you chefs? Are um, you? No, I've, I've been in the seafood business um, my entire career, actually. My husband and I started a live lobster wholesale distribution facility in Houston, Texas, wow. and started servicing restaurants and retail. Tell us, how did that morph into this? Yeah, so we met on a soccer field. We played uh, soccer in college together. And after college, I accepted a job working for one of the largest wine and spirits, wholesalers, distributors in the US. So what's harder to sell, the spirits or the fish? You know what? I would say it's just all about the storytelling and connecting. Great answer. Great answer. Are you exclusively subscription or not. can I buy anything on your website? You can buy anything on our website and um, our subscriptions are just really set up for convenience. You can pause, cancel or anytime. What is the cost and what is yeah. your cost? Walk me through it. Yeah, so we're 100% direct to consumer through our website. The most uh, popular box is 16 portions and you can purchase that for 139 or 149. What are your total sales? So uh, last year we did 821,000 in sales. Oh my wow. gosh, congratulations. Good. And did you make money off of that? We made $20,000. You think you're breaking even because your customer acquisition costs are high? What does it cost you to acquire a customer? Our customer acquisition cost is uh, between thirty and forty dollars. And, and where year? are you looking? What like will you do this year? this year? We're at so we're at four ninety four year to date, um, and we we do believe that we're going to break a million and hoping to land right around one And just 2. so we understand, just from the very top. How much does it cost you to manufacture that? How much does it cost to deliver that? So what's the total landed cost? Just so we can understand the margins. Yeah, so uh, our average order value is $143. Uh, from there, our delivered cost is about 111 right now, which we can't wait to talk about, because um, uh, there's a reason behind that. But um, yeah, that's where we are What right is now. the reason behind it? We're here today because we have a shipping issue. We are, we subsidize all of our packages to East and West Coast. Because what happened was, oh. when the world shut down, people in densely populated areas, the East and West Coast, they needed product. Yeah. And our customer mix grew from 75% local one-day ships to 50% East and West Coast. It's all shipping. It's shipping. So the shipping is actually 11% of our revenue. Wow. So, yeah, it's hot, and, and that is, we wow. do believe we're gonna get that down to around five. So what's five. the plan, what's the plan? We have a plan, so we have a 3PL that can strategically get us to every single um, zone in one to two days, which fits perfectly in our model. But, but guys, you have a fundamental problem, yes. right? Your primary costs are all variable. You know, seafood, right, that protein, there's variance in the cost. And then the shipping, 
it, you know, I think your prices will come down, but they're always variable as well, yeah. even in normal times. That makes the business very tough, and so for those reasons, I'm out. Let me ask what I think is the most important yeah. question, which is of your existing customers, how many are continuing to order two times, three times, four times, five plus times? 55% of our customers to date have returned. Wow. 70% of our um, total revenue is from our subscription business. I love fish. I'm a shark. I'm a very big I... fish. <laughs> but over 13 years, I've become a mini expert in lots of things but not shipping and logistics. Yeah. I, I can't help you. There might be a bigger fish here that can. Uh, I'm out. Thank you. This fits into my Chef Wonderful world, yes. okay? And, I, and that's a very successful model. And the only reason it's successful is, it re is our customer acquisition costs are very competitive. I would get behind this as a third partner. I want 33 and a third percent for 200,000, and I go to work with you on the social yeah. side. I gotta turn you into friggin' stars. And we are. We're two Division I collegiate athletes. Like, we got this. I think your primary industry is moving fish. And I think you can do that, but you need to have a partner who understands that. And so for that reason, I'm out. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. Lori, what are you gonna do? I'll tell you, I've been sitting here, I've been listening. You know, I'm your customer. Yes. I'm an advocate. But I have to be authentic. And I don't think that you need a partner to just help you get distribution centers. And I really don't think that you need to give away equity. Right. I just think that you need a little bit of money, which you could get somewhere else and not give away equity. So I want to be honest. So for those reasons, I'm out. So Thank you very much, Marie. Wow, there's one fish All left. All fish swim back to Mr. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> you have to decide. I, yeah. not, I don't have any flexibility. I want a you third. You have no flexibility. No. Melissa, you can you can make a counter off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin, 25. No. Oh, Kevin. I'll do it for 30, okay? you do it for 30. Yeah. And you'll fund POs for us to help us get this distribution? I'm not going to commit to anything until I actually see your income and balance sheet okay. statement. But yep. that's not your problem. It's direct to consumer customer acquisition cost that is the whole deal here. And, That's and the let me whole ask you problem. This. We know that 80% of, uh, of consumer goods are bought by the moms, right? Yeah, how do correct. you, how is, how's your breakdown to your audience? Are In you... my chef business, it's a majority of women. Oh majority my women. gosh, okay. you it's are a great, so It's a great good. thing well, I mean, because our, our women have goal connect is to go with, social media. You should go online and look at Chef Wonderful. Yeah. Look yeah. at him. Melissa, are you going to give up 30% of the Kevin, business? You, you know this to, business better than anybody. Why don't you make social media followers? Why don't you make social media chefs? This is a really hard business. Guys, I never stand up for Kevin, but I will here simply because you guys are floundering a little bit. Yeah. You're floundering uh, on the money. I'm not saying you're not capable. There's a big difference, right? You're more than capable. You're super smart, but you're floundering financially, right? You're floundering a little bit on your distribution strategy, and you're floundering on your marketing strategy. But given your circumstances, he's going to cover a lot of the issues. You're getting money, right, which is yeah. really going to help. You're going to get access to his, his mailing list and his customer list, and you're going to get some promotional elements. And so if, you know, if you went out and just bought these independently, they wouldn't be cheap. Kevin, 25, and no. we will, we will no. be so efficient for you. you. I we know won't wait on how us. much we work this is, and I know my value. This is hard. Say yes to 30, and you have a new lease on life in this business. I don't do failure, okay? We don't either. All right. So when I put my name on something, there's no failure option. That hurts my brand. That's all I have to say on it. 30%, I'll do the deal. I don't want you doing it for that. I don't care what you want. Yeah, I do. I'll give you the 200,000 for 25%. Wow. Lori, you have a deal. Yeah! Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Boom! Let's sell some fish. That's why they call it the shark tank. <laughs> oh my god. I can't let you give away 30%. Awesome. Congrats, guys. Well done. Kevin, Congrats, thank you. Guys. Oh. Thank you. High five, ladies. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and I just <laughs> Oh, my God. Lori. We know Kevin would have been a great partner, um, but I think Lori really saw who we were and really believed in our company. And, you know, I just think that this is going to be the best partnership for us. Kevin didn't even see it coming. He was swimming. Nobody did. I wouldn't have ever done it for Back less, in, so baby. I congratulate Lori. She is on a You know what happened? Ride. It's very You're hard. Greed. You're, You're greed. You're greed. 
Look, there's Mr. Wonderful, and then there's Lori. First in the tank is a healthy alternative to a food that many vegans miss the most. Hello, sharks. I'm Beth Zotter. And I'm Amanda Stiles. We're from Berkeley, California, and we're the co-founders of the Umaro Protein Company. The plant-based meat category is exploding, but everyone's using the same proteins. It's time for a sea change, and we're building something that could change everything. This is Umaro, seaweed that's been transformed from plant to protein. Wow. Seaweed is surprisingly high in protein, and it's one of the fastest growing plants on Earth. Seaweed requires no land, no fresh water, and no fertilizer to grow. It's a superfood for the planet. We are pioneers at the forefront of a new frontier in protein. We're developing advanced systems in high-tech ocean farming and precision protein extraction that will unlock the ocean as our future source of protein. It's massive, but none of that really matters unless it tastes good. <laughs> yep. So we're using it to create America's favorite food. It's the holy grail of plant-based meat. Sizzly, salty, delicious <laughs> yes. bacon. bacon. Umaro Superfood Bacon is the first plant-based bacon your dad is gonna like. <laughs> There's two kinds of bacon lovers in this world, the ones who like it crispy and the ones who like it soft and chewy. Either way you like it, we've made bacon that's just like the real thing and will blow your mind. Huh. Bacon is huge, but it's just the beginning. We're asking for $500,000 in exchange for 2% equity oh, stake oh, in the future of oh. protein. Hello. Who's ready to bring home the bacon? Gotta try it. <laughs> this better taste good. So what you have in front of you is a classic American sandwich, BLT. BLT is made with extra crispy bacon, but for those of you who like it soft and chewy, our bacon is pre-cooked. On your left, you have the bacon oh. right out of the package. And in the middle is just right. The crispy's okay, the chewy not so much. Oh, it's not, which one's this? The chewy one that's right out of the box. Most I, people are gonna like the crispy bacon, I which is in the middle. I love bacon, don't love this. Crispy's good. It doesn't really one? taste like bacon. No, the crispy one does. I mean, it's salted, right? It's got that cured taste. Just try it in a sandwich. It's great in a sandwich. Like, really good. I think in your sandwich, it's pretty nice. So you're, you're 87 calories for two strips. So compared to real bacon, how many calories in a strip of real bacon? It's very similar. So we have, a, we have a similar amount of fat, a little bit lower protein. But what we're going for here is to get the, the juicy, fatty texture of bacon. What's your background? Where did you go? Like, how did you come up with it? So first of all, let me tell you, the, my mission is to protect this amazing planet that we live on. My background is in renewable energy. And a few years ago, I received a $5 million research grant from the Department of Energy to build and engineer offshore seaweed farms for fuel. I knew that animal protein was a huge contributor to global warming, and I realized that seaweed had an immense potential to be a planet-friendly source of protein. And how did you two find each other? We're actually from the same county in Virginia, but we didn't meet until we were in Berkeley, and I went looking for someone who was an expert in protein. First off, my mission is to reduce the factory farming of animals. And I think the best way to do that is by making plant-based foods that are so delicious, people would rather eat them than the animals. So I earned a PhD in plant biochemistry to give me the expertise to make top-of-the-line plant-based foods. How many other competitors do you have? We're the first and only company to commercialize seaweed protein. And we have foundational intellectual property across the value chain. We have patent applications on the protein separation process. We have patent applications on using our protein in plant-based meats. And we have a patent application on the fat mimetic that we've made. So you're not selling this product yet? This is a prototype. It's what a prototype. What you have in front of you is the first 500 slices ever made. What does this cost to make and what do you sell it for? Right. So we'll be launching in food service. Food service will pay $18 a pound. For comparison, uh, food service currently pays about $15 a pound for real pre-cooked bacon. Okay. We'll get, we'll get uh, $12.60 from the distributor. And right now, our cost of goods is about $7.30. We'll bring that down to $5.20. Other people are going to have access to seaweed, right? Right. And there's others that are working on a, an alternative process that is similar to yours. You just think your efficiency of the protein is better. Our patent applications cover the use of seaweed protein 
in plant-based meat. You said bacon was just the beginning, so what else are you planning? So we're really excited to keep moving in the breakfast meat category and also in other cured meats. I'm really excited to make pepperoni. So and you want to reinvent the wheel and make it from scratch. You want to make a sausage. They you want to replace make the industry. Patties. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do all that we're, stuff. We're going to be one of the giants in this industry uh, in the next decade. Where you're losing me is you're saying the business today is worth $25 million. And you're not capturing for me how you're going to get that market. If I'm a consumer and I walk into a store and I see a soy based product and I see your product, why would I pick up your product? No one is gonna make anything close to as good as, well, as our bacon. So it's meat. qualitative. You'll buy, because buy ours because it, it tastes like bacon. I don't know if it tastes just like bacon though. It's a prototype, we're gonna keep improving it. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first batch. But with our first batch, we've already gotten a purchase order. We're in conversations with two additional restaurant chains. I can't cross the bridge to the $25 million for a 2% investment based on our bacon tastes better. I'm out. We are at the early stages of a revolution in plant-based food. The companies that establish the leading products in each category right now will be giants in the next decade, and we will be one of them. In order to do this, you're gonna have to raise a boatload of money. We're currently in the middle of a Series A fundraise. For how what much? valuation? 25 million. You two are two of the most impressive women I've ever seen. The thing that gets me is the valuation at this point. 500,000 for 2% of your business just feels a little punchy. You are gonna need to raise a boatload of money. And so I'm gonna end up getting diluted and diluted and diluted down. So for that reason, I'm out, but good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. I will make you an offer. I'm not agreeing on your valuation. I understand this may cause some heartache with this a round you're doing, but I also bring a lot of value in who I am and what I can do. I'll do this deal for the 500K. Um, I'd like 8%. All right, thank you. I'd like wow. to hear. How much are you raising in this round? We're raising 10 million. Do you have any flexibility on the equity? Are you willing to give up more for the 500,000? More equity for 500,000? Yeah. Would you consider his 8%? Uh, we'd do 8% for 1 million. I'll do that deal. Listen, ladies. I'll do that deal. I, wait, listen, guys, listen, listen. Me. Look at me. You are badass women. I love badass women. You blow me away. You're so impressive. I want to be on this journey with you really, really, really badly. I would like 500,000 for 4%, but I want to be non-dilutive through the next round. So guys, my offer still is there at a hundred, a million dollars rather, for 8%. And obviously I have the history and plant-based foods and already have companies that I can connect you with that are my companies. I would love to have both of you. Would no. you consider going well, in together? No. I will tell you this, I have some major corporations behind me that want to help me with women in tech and women just like yourselves. And they are big presence. Um, Everybody's got little So little listen, stuff. we all have something, but you just have to see who do you want along with you for the journey. Exactly I'm gonna be right. in it with my heart and soul, in it to win it. Three badass women. Mark, would you go to 7%? Yeah. Cuban, you have a deal. We'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Bummer. Thanks, Thank you. Guys. Bummer. Great job. Thank you so Great much. Great job. Beth, Thank you. Congratulations. Very impressive. Thank you. Congrats. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Mark is a leader in the plant-based space. He's invested in a number of other companies, and so we're really glad to have him on board. Seaweed is the most planet-friendly source of protein around, and our bacon is going to be the first of many products that get seaweed onto the plates of every American and everyone in the world. I would have liked to have been along for the journey, but you out moneyed me. It happens. Damn. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Mark the Richie man. <laughs> Next up is a food brand inspired by recipes handed down from generations. Hola Sharks, my name is Hector Saldivar and I'm from Tiburon, California. Tiburon means shark.
Ah. <laughs> I'm seeking $500,000 in exchange of 5% of my company, Tia Lupita. Oh, God. Sharks, I'm going to ask you for a favor. Raise your hand if you like to eat tacos. Come on, we all do. No tacos for you, Damon? I hate tacos. Oh, Raise your other that. hand if you like to eat clean, simple ingredients. Now, try to touch your ears with your elbows. You <laughs> Nobody can do that. Yeah. You can. Can it's do impossible. That, yeah. yeah, believe me, I've tried. It's impossible. Just like it's impossible for current Mexican brands to bring innovation and keep their authenticity using artificial ingredients, binders, and fillers. Growing up in Mexico, we don't inherit cars, jewelry, or money. What gets passed down to us are our family recipes. Mm. Enter Tia Lupita Foods, the better for you Mexican inspired food brand that uses clean, simple ingredients that starts with one of the world's most sustainable plants, the cactus. Cactus or nopales is Mexico's sweetheart, a low glycemic superfood that we use in our line of grain free tortilla chips and tortillas. Sharks, be prepared to fall in love with our five flavors of tortilla chips. They have all the crunch and texture that you're used to but are packed with superfoods, making them a great source of fiber. And we have two types of tortillas, a grain tree and cactus made with upcycled okara and cassava and a corn and cactus. Now, if you're wondering why they're green, it's because of all that dinero we're gonna make together. <laughs> the Tia Lupita, we believe two things. Food is love and eating good should be easier than trying to touch your ears with your elbows. So who's ready to make everyday Taco Tuesday in America with Tia Lupita? Nicely done. So I have some tortillas. There's a bag here of cactus tortillas. And hot, it's very, very chips. hot. And then there's habanero, chipotle, salsa verde, and hot sauce. Yes. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> you should have started with a little salsa verde and then go into the medium body hot sauce, which is what, what, what we call the OG, then uh, chipotle, and then habanero. This is one of the first iterations grain-free tortilla chips that taste good. Thank you so much, Mr. Wonderful. It means a lot. The tortillas are good, and it's only 45 calories for a whole tortilla. Absolutely, yes. Can you give us our, your background and why you decided to go into your business? I'm originally from Monterey, Mexico. I moved here 18 years ago. My mom, Lupita, would ship me care packages, though, no, like a regular mom does. <laughs> now, granted, a regular care package would be swe a sweater or some socks, maybe a little money. If you're lucky, my mom would send me hot sauce. It's a family recipe hot sauce that had been passed down to a single family member. So I started sharing that with friends and colleagues. And uh, everybody started falling in love with my mom's hot sauce. Then they started planting the seed. And so I started ideating uh, this bottling and, and, and commercializing this, the, the, my mom's hot sauce. I came to the realization that the, that the current Mexican brands or Hispanic brands here in the United States were not doing anything to innovate. We would bring innovation, that we were trying to change the perception that Mexican food is unhealthy. And uh, that's when I decided that Tia Lupita would be, we, become more than just a hot sauce brand, it would become a platform brand. Hector, how many years ago was that? We started in 2019. Tell us what your revenues are for the last three years. So in 2020, we did $900,000. Wow. wow. Okay. In 2021, we did 1.5 yeah. million. Oh yeah. And this year, we're going to do 4 million. Wow. Are you profitable? Last month was our first profitable month. Congrats. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so much. We're and, very and proud. Where are you selling? We're in Sprouts nationally, five regions of Whole Foods, key regional accounts from Wegmans to Walmart. We have Target on site, Publix. Do you have to pay to get listed there? And actually, last year, we took a huge hit with slotting. How big is that hit? So in 2020, we lost around 700K. Okay. Oh, gosh. In 2021, we lost 1.2. Ooh, so how much have you invested or brought in? We've raised 1.9. Uh-huh. 1.9 wow. uh, so far. And now we're, do a, we're doing a, a full seed. What percentage of the company do you own? I still own around 65%. 65? And how much of your own money did you invest? Uh, so around 700K. Wow. wow. You're all in. Good for you. We did a more uh, line of credit against our mortgage and, and, and all on that. On your home? Yeah, on our home. And, and, uh, Damn, Hector. Yeah. Well, at projected $4 million in sales, you're doing something right. Um, but I just don't like... It's not that I dislike Mexican food. I just don't love it. I don't believe that I would have the passion to be able to help you with this, so I'm out. Thank you so much, Damon. I appreciate it. I think uh, this is a long journey and a cash-rich journey. I don't think the 5% $500,000 is going to get you there. I'm out. Thank you so much, Robert. Yeah, Hector, I'm along the same lines. I think the tortillas were great, but 
you're in a business that's a grind. I just don't see the numbers working for me, so for that reason, I'm out. Absolutely, and, and so, Mark, I appreciate that. And we do have a, a path of, of profitability. We, we, we proved it last month. Let's focus on that, Hector, because you never told me what it cost you to make the product. Right. So walk me through the cactus grain-free sea salt. Let's just go with this right. one. What does it cost to make this? Yeah, that bag cost us $1.50. Yes. And then we retail it between $3.99 and $4.99. It's competitive with other grain-free tortilla chips out there. I have been looking for a product for Chef Wonderful that's grain-free, because that's my whole shtick these days, is healthier eating, healthier living. Uh, and this is one of the best I've tasted. I gotta tell you that. But these numbers are tough. They're very tough. Hector, while he's thinking, I'm gonna jump in. I think you've done a really great job. What concerns me, though, is you have a lot of debt. There's a lot going on financially that really worries me. So for me, it's not the right investment. I'm sorry. I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Uh, as usual, all roads lead back to Mr. Wonderful. I've heard that so many times. Unfortunately, so have we. It's a tough deal. I think you asked too much because Lori's right. You got a ton of debt on this thing, and you've mortgaged your house, which scares me. If I can say one more thing, I just want to tried to sell myself because I haven't done up the opportunity. I've worked so hard for this last four years. They've been uh, everything to me. Uh, it's honoring not only my culture, my heritage, my, my mom, right? Today, one month ago, my dad passed away. And uh, I should have been there with my mom right now in, in his one month memorial. But I couldn't say no to this opportunity. It's been a journey, but I'm, we're, 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 we're all in. Okay, here's an offer. I'll give you the $500,000 in debt. Um, it's going to be 36 months. I'm gonna do interest at 12.5%, which Gosh. is current. Ouch. Sorry, that's current. That's market, Barbara, Still sorry. ouch. Uh, yeah, and I want 10% of the company. Oof. I'm taking huge risk here, Hector, huge. This is like a line of credit, you're, you're, you're... Yeah, I'll do it as a line of credit. You draw it down, but I want first money back first. Absolutely. Okay. Are you allowed to subordinate? Are you able to subordinate the debt? Yes, absolutely, yes. Okay. The concern here is the double of the equity that I, that I, that I was I understand that, Hector, but you're Sorry. asking me to get behind this product with my whole team, back you. If I do this deal, I can't do another one like it. This is my deal in this space. So that's a decision I have to make. If I, and frankly, I'm not getting out of bed for 5%, Hector. I'm sorry. You don't have to do this deal, but it's the only one I'm going to do. Four sharks are out. Hector has an offer from Kevin, $500,000 as a line of credit at 12.5% interest for 10% of his grain-free Mexican snack company, Tia Lupita. You don't have to do this deal, but it's the only one I'm going to do, Hector. Then you get a better deal elsewhere, Hector, speaking on your behalf. That's a rich deal. Well, I you didn't make him an offer, Barbara. I, I was honest about that right up front. I'm Barbara just saying. If you wanted an offer on Shark Tank, you Barbara's just got right. one. You may not like it, but that's you can why they call it the Shark Tank. You can counter. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I think, Mr. Wonderful, the 10% the, the, the is the only thing that is... That is uh, I don't know if it's worth anything thing. yet. Do you know what it takes to sell a company in the snack area? you got to get to 50 million before any strategic's even interested. What's that you, you're willing to give? You knew, you knew and we here, weren't going to go for Hector, here's what I'm also thinking. You're going to keep raising money. I'm going to get diluted. I mean, I've, I've seen this movie before, my friend. If I start at 5%, I'll have less than 1% by the time you're finished getting to 50 million. Would you do the same deal for 7.5%? No. I totally, I see the value of, of you coming in and, you know, you would bring so much. But I don't, I don't know if that's the right deal right now for I'm me. I'm different than any investor you have. He's more arrogant. I'm sorry. I know my value, Hector. You got to make a decision. I'm not flexible. Is there, is there any flexibility with the, with, with, with the equity? Five hundred thousand dollars. I cry like a baby when I lose five hundred thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I get on my knees and I. And it I happens break a down. lot. <laughs> it never happens. Well, it's a loan, so, so why don't you ask him for seven fifty? Is that a possibility? No, can, can, Lori. Can, can I? Uh, Lori didn't then even why make you, you an ask offer. for a million. You can offer. You can ask for anything you want. The answer is no. Great deals. Both sides feel pain. I'm feeling pain about five hundred thousand. I'm putting at risk. You're feeling pain about the ten percent that hasn't doesn't have any value yet. Kevin, it's a loan. How is it a risk? Yeah, it's well, a loan. I'm, it's the yeah, dilution. I'm, I'm like, he's going to go issue shares. That's diluting me down from ten percent. Well, why don't you make it non-dilutable? We I could, could we, do that, we, but we, that we, would... We can work that in. We'll make the, we, your, your shares non-dilutable. You, you, you stay at 5%. In exchange 5%. for what? I'll do the 500K, 
in, uh, in as a line of credit in exchange of 5%, and you, those, 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 that 5% that you own will not get diluted. Not bad. So not dilutable, yeah. That's yeah. fair. Lock in. Mm. That's a good deal right there for you, Kevin. Hector, you have a deal. Yeah, Kevin! <laughs> Wonderful. It's a pleasure. You too, man. Thank you so Very much. Great. 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 Yes, thank you so much. Congratulations, Hector. Well done.